How's it going everyone? My name is Alex. I'm an undergraduate science student taking Organic Chemistry 2 and the seventh lab of my semester included this aldol condensation reaction where two moles of cinnamald cinnamaldehyde react with acetone under a base catalyst to form disinamalacetone. Now remember, two moles of cinnamaldehyde are used in this reaction. And I want to stress that because one mole reacts with acetone to create one half of this molecule. And then that second mole is this other half of the molecule. Why is that important? You'll see a little later. I have two equations here. The black one forms the first half and the blue one on the bottom forms that other half. So to start the reaction, first step, the hydroxide catalyst in solution will take a hydrogen away from the carbon in the acetone molecule, forming what's called this enolate ion, where a lone pair is on the carbon. Now I didn't draw it, but as you can see, these lone pairs can go here while pushing these two electrons in this bond to the oxygen, giving oxygen a negative charge, and a double bond here. But I drew it this way because this is the way the reaction happens with this form, not the double bond form. So that's very important. So again, the first step, hydroxide will take a hydrogen away, forming a water molecule and the electrons from this bond will stay with the carbon resulting in this enolate ion. The enolate ion with the, the, the side with the lone pair on the carbon would attack this carbon here and it simultaneously would push these electrons of that double bond to the oxygen. And that would cause the oxygen to have that negative charge. Now, as you can see here, that acetone, that acetone molecule is now attached to that carbon that was in the carbonyl group. Then after that happens, the oxygen now that has a negative charge will take a hydrogen from a water molecule that's in the solution and form that alcohol group that you see there. And then as you would expect, that water would now be hydroxide, an OH. Now there'll be more OH in the solution for this reaction to continue. And as we will see here, in the next step, hydroxide will pull away hydrogen from these two that were on the acetone molecule and then again we're gonna have that carbon a carbon with those lone pairs so we have hydroxide taking away hydrogen and that elect those two electrons that formed that bond with hydrogen and carbon stay with the carbon having a negative charge there now that we have this formation we have another water molecule in solution which then the alcohol group will attack and take away a hydrogen from the water and those that those electrons from that bond will go to oxygen and then the hydroxide group would be in solution then the next step, since a water molecule was formed from the previous step here, as we all know, the water molecule is a great leaving group, so that's what would happen. The molecule leaves, same time as the electrons from that carbon, form a double bond here. And that'll be the first, I'd say intermediate of the entire reaction so now we have 
this in solution floating around. Now we're not done yet because we're looking for dicinamyl acetone. So here we go. This is the same product that we just had over there in black. I moved down here to for more space. Now, as you see here, there's a CH3 group. Same CH3 group as in the acetone molecule, as you can see here. The same reaction happens to these forming that enolate ion for this big structure here. Okay, so the hydroxide will take away the hydrogen and the electrons from this bond will stay with the carbon, forming the ion, as you see here. Now just in the, just like in the previous where the enolate ion attached to the cinnamaldehyde, the same will happen here. Okay, remember this molecule here is the product of that entire reaction we just went over in black. Okay, it's really long. So that those double, those lone pairs on the carbon would attack the carbon in the carbonyl group on the other cinnamaldehyde mole that is in the solution and again just like just like here in the beginning where the acetone attacked the carbon in this carbonyl group and these bonds went to the oxygen the same happens here these lone pairs attack this carbon while this bond goes to the oxygen and this is what it looks like now this could look confusing but this whole piece that entire piece there is this piece and the lone pair of the carbon here over here is this bond okay so hopefully that's clear to everybody now that they're attached we have water in the solution and this oxygen with the negative charge will take away a hydrogen to form that alcohol group just like in the reaction from the previous re uh, example right we had the oxygen take the hydrogen formed the alcohol group now that we have the alcohol group established what happens next well hydroxides in solution and hydroxide will take a hydrogen from this carbon and the lone pair would stay with the carbon as shown here lone pair now that that was made, that alcohol group will take another hydrogen from a water molecule and form a water molecule on the entire structure. Now we all know that water molecule is a good leaving group. And what happens? Those lone pairs of the carbon will move in to form the double bond pushing these electrons out to the oxygen making the water molecule leave and what do we get after that our final product 
Dicinimal acetone. Again, here's the general reaction. Two moles cinnamaldehyde react with one mole acetone under base catalyst, sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide, whichever one, to form dicinimal acetone. I'm going to walk down the reaction so you guys could press pause or screenshot or whatever it is you want to do with it. Now